Hi, this is Rob Packard from Medical Device Academy. This Friday, I'm live streaming another video on the topic of AI requests. Last week, our live video streaming was on the topic of RTA requests. RTAs are a little bit different from AI requests. RTAs are at the beginning of the process in the first 14 days when the reviewer is making sure that the quality of your submission is sufficient and you have addressed all the minimum requirements for a quality submission that they can accept and begin review of. If you get an RTA hold letter, you could always get a second RTA review, you could get a second RTA hold, and you still have the AI request process at the very end. However, if you have an AI request from the FDA, this is your last chance to get it right. You have to make sure that you get all the data that the FDA wants. You need to get the right data analysis. You need to get the right sample quantities. You get it, need to get the right um, justifications for any testing you didn't do. If you get it wrong and you don't address all the deficiencies the FDA has identified, then you will get an NSE letter or non-substantial equivalence letter, and you have to start the entire 510K process over again. The resubmission of your uh, application and your fee is the least of your problems. It's the delay. You start the entire process over again. So you've get, you're looking at at least another four months of waiting before you're going to get 510K clear. If you want to learn how to avoid that process, I highly recommend you participate in this week's live streaming video. You'll have the opportunity to post questions in the live chat. You can also put questions down below in below this video in the discussion, and I'll review those before we actually do the live streaming video so I can address any questions in case you can't participate live on Friday. But please send me your questions. That's what really makes these sessions better. I'm going to try to answer everybody's questions about how to respond to an AI hold. And I'm also going to give you some of the tips and tricks I've learned that make it go smoothly, things that I've actually been told by FDA reviewers on this is the best way to handle an AI response, and the mistakes we've made along the way, and things we've learned from. So please don't forget to uh, ring the bell for notifications so you get notified when the live streaming starts, but it should be 1230 Eastern time on Friday, June 25th. I'm looking forward to seeing you there and don't forget to put questions in the discussion below and share the, this uh, announcement with your friends so they can participate in the live streaming video too. Thank you and see you Friday. Bye.